Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Every Data Science is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question or lead code regarding biggest window between visits and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium. Okay, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called user visits with two different columns, user ID and the visit date and these being their data types. This table does not have a primary key, okay? This table contains logs of the dates that users visited a certain retailer. Now, we need to assume that today's date is 1st of January 2021. We are asked to write a SQL query that will, for each user ID, find out the largest window of days between each visit and the one right after it, or today if you are considering the last visit, right? Okay, so let's go through this example, right? So for example, user ID one, right? So three different visits. So the first visit was on, so like since this is not ordered, but like the first visit was on 20th of October, 2020, then was on 28th of November, 2020, and then 3rd of December, 2020, right? So it is saying for each of the user, we need to calculate what is the biggest window between visits and if it is the last visit, like for example, for user ID one, the last visit was on 3rd of December, 2020. So since then, how many days have been passed, assuming that today's date is 1st of January, 2021. So the number of days between 28th of October, uh, 2020 to 28th of November, 2020, uh, around 39, 40 days. And then from 28th of November, 2020 to 3rd of December, like around five, six days, and then 3rd of December, 2020 to uh, 1st of January, 2021. So about 27 days, right? 27, 28 days. So the maximum was between 28th uh, October, 2020 and 28th November, 2020, right? About 40 days. So for user ID one, the biggest window is going to be 39. Similarly for two, for three, right? So this is the output that we need to get. Okay. so just by the logic the first thing that we need to do is for each of the user id we should order this visit date column uh, in ascending order and try to find out what is the next date of the visit right so the visit date and the next date of the visit right so let's go ahead with it so from this table called user visits right what we are returning is let's return both the columns right so user id and the visit date and let's create a third column uh next called next date which basically gives us what is the next date of the visit right because we need to calculate window between the visit dates so to do that we need to firstly create partitions by user id order by visit date and then calculate the next visit date so since we are using a window function we need to write over then we create a partition, right? So partition by user ID, and then we calculate the order by visit date, right? And then once there is order, then what we need to do is we calculate the lead, right? So lead is basically the next value, right? You can basically uh, take two, three, four, ten columns after your current. But by default, if you don't write anything uh, after the column name, so if I write lead from the visit date, it is basically same as writing comma one. So comma one means the value from the next very next row. And let's alias this as the next date. Okay, so let me just copy this right to demonstrate what is happening here. So yeah, so user ID one. So firstly, uh, when let's let's go step by step. So from this table user visits, select all columns and then over uh, partition by user ID, right? So this is one user ID. So one partition, second partition, these two rows and third partition. Now it says order by visit date. Okay, so the first one would be this one, then this one, and then the last one is going to be this, right? So basically this is going to come, this is going to come below this, right? So this is now ordered by visit date. Similarly, this is already ordered. 
and the, since it is only one row so no need to order that so now once we order this then it is going to calculate the lead so basically the next value from the visit date column and the and the alias of this column is next date so basically a new column called next date will be generated and the next value will be added right so for this row the next date is this for this row the next date is this right and in this partition there is no next right so here it will be null similarly for this row the next date is this and nothing here so null and since nothing after this so null right so basically this entire thing is going to produce this output right now what we need to do we need to calculate the window between the visits right so how to calculate the window so basically you need to calculate the difference of the days right so basically different of these dates so visit date and next date you calculate the difference but if you see wherever there is a null value you need to null, null value be, means so this was the last visit of the user id so the difference should be calculated by the last visit date and today's date assuming today's date is 1st of january 2021 so you see there is a condition here or basically two different cases so we need to also use case when statements here okay so let's do this right okay so from uh, let's save this in a common table expression so with cte as and we save this in a common table expression now from this common table expression what do we need to do let's return the user id so the user id part since for each user id we need to know the window between the dates right so let's return the user id and then if next date is not null then calculate the difference between the visit date and the next date and if it is null then calculate the difference between the visit date and the date this date right so case when next date is not null then what you do you calculate the difference right so how do we calculate the function we use is date diff which columns next date and the visit date and else that is if it is null then you calculate the date difference between uh, today's date so 2021 0101 so 1st of january 2021 but since this is a string so remember this column visit date is a date column a data type date and when you calculate the lead using this visit date then this is also going to be date so you need to have date rare right so what you do is you cast this value right so this value 2021 so let's cast this string value as date right so cast this as date and then so basically this is the first thing and the second is visit date right so you calculate the difference between this and let's alias this as wind right so now what is this going to do so this is basically going to have right so let me just uh, you know copy this user id thing uh, so basically this is what it is going to return is so for user id and the window right so for user id 1 right so user id 1 so here it will calculate the difference of the dates so it is about 39 days right then again for row 2 1 and then between these so what is the difference between these two dates it is 5 days right so 5 days then again for line 3 for this and since it is null so it is null so else it will uh, calculate the difference between this 1st of January 2021 and 3rd of December 2020 so here it will come 29 right so similarly for 2 it is going to have you know so for 2 it is going to be 65 and 23 right so 65 
and then two 23 and for 3 it is going to be 51 right so this is what will be calculated using this right so let's again store this in a common table expression right so let's cte2 as then this is another common table expression now what do we need to do using this common table expression too if you group by the user id and return the maximum of this right so and that is the, your answer right so from common table expression to if you group by the user id and then return the user id right and the maximum from the window column and alias it as the biggest window right so biggest window and since we need to order it by user id so order by order by user id so see this looks good let me go ahead and remove all this and we can run this to see what happens so removing all this so again remember we since we have written two common table expressions so we need to put a comma here so first common table expression second common table expression and then using the second common table expression we are finding for each of the user id what is the biggest window okay so this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yep, this passes all the test cases it is pretty fast as well and this is how we do it again simple looking question although like it's medium difficulty but all we had to do was you know just follow the basic logic calculate the next visit date if the visit date was not null then you calculate the difference as as it is if it is it was null then you assume that today's date is 1st of january 2021 and calculate the difference between uh 1st january 2021 to the last visit and then group by the user id and find out the maximum window right and that is going to be the biggest window with each user id so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there is any other better way of doing it or more efficient way of doing it let let the solution be in the comment section below and until then, I will see you guys in the next video.